Hi everybody, this is Laurels here with a new episode of Neopets the Darkest Fairy. In the last episode, we began our training here at Meridale Castle. Yeah, out of my way, I was in the middle of running down this hall like a lunatic. Anyway, we were given our second choir ch- Choir? <laughs> yeah, we sing! Oh gosh. We were given our second squire chore, which was to go to clog duty. Now we were told to go into the sewers, and we did. But uh, if you now notice we're not in the sewers anymore, I went back and saved the game really quickly. Because you know why? I flipping hate clog duty. This is one of those rare instances where I accidentally die in this game. This game, of all games, I freaking die. Okay. Sorry. I don't really handle losing very well, which is a shame considering I'm a noob. What can you do? Anyway, getting my map all centered here. In case you're wondering, I am such a big nerd for this game that I actually wrote my own game guide for this because there wasn't one available. I'll show a picture or like a movie here. Anyway, yeah, that looks special, doesn't it? Spent long hours when I was like a little kid, like around sixth grade, making this thing. Well worth it though. It's really fun, really got me into the mind of creating game guides, all that stuff. Which is why I can't stand it when it's not done well. See, game guide fails of Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. Anyway, first thing we gotta do, jump down here. Okay, there's little bits of clogs that you can break with using your own feet. You just jump on them and they break. I'm trying to be very careful around here. Now there's two enemies that are new. Well, technically one enemy that we're new to here. But first, moats. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Just got a frog in my throat or something. Let's see. If that was a fire moat, we put on a water moat. Uh, I can never tell with these enemies. Give me a second. Okay, if you say so. Water moat. Fire moat. Okay, these enemies here are called Slorgs. Anyone who's played Neopets knows they look a whole lot more creepier than what they actually are in game. In game, they actually look slightly cute. This game, nah. They don't. They do not. Not at all. They are horrible. They're giant and they're ugly and they can bite you and paralyze you and spit stuff at you. Yeah, they have a ranged attack as well. And these are swamp ten- well, not swamp tentacles, but these are water tentacles here. Took them down. I'm just gonna quickly heal myself of my HP and magic. Yeah, because we're gonna be running low on those. Uh, but yeah. Swamp tentacles, well- these sewer tentacles are much like their plant tentacle counterparts. They can go underground and all that stuff. I lost a coin in the wall. Great. Ah, gotcha. Now this here, which has one coin in it for some reason, this is a clog. This is the one we're supposed to be messing with. We can't jump to break it, so we have to actually swing, swing, swing. Yuck, one clog down, four to go. Yep. Four more clogs. And the enemy placement gets really jerkish the further in we get. Now let's see if we can get the map up. Okay. Yeah, alright. Just have to go this way. There's random treasure placed around here, usually in one of these little grates, but every once in a while, you'll find them closer to these gates. Anyway, we can't go this way because they're blocked off by something. So let's just continue on, shall we? Mm -hmm. 
You notice how every game has to have some sort of sewer level? I just wish this one didn't. Ah! Die! Die, you ugly little slork! Hate you! Die! I think I actually tried to block that attack. Which is weird. The wooden shield, in my opinion, is not the most reliable shield there is. I know it's not the most powerful. That's not... There's no contest about that. But sometimes I find that the shield f just fails to defend me for some reason. I don't know. That's just how I see it. Anyway, gotta be careful about this one. This floor has tons of enemies. Bubble trail. Get out of here! This is where hitting multiple enemies at once with the spin attacks is a good thing. And if you swing far enough, you actually hit the enemies behind you, too. Haha! -ha. Oh, this one spat out a dark mode. Nice! Let's see, does this thing lead to anything? Ah, it's a clog! Yeah! Ah, that got it. Now there's just three more clogs out there somewhere. Oh gosh, where are we now? I get lost in this place so easily. Oh, so that's where we are. Okay. Supposed to go this way. Just checking the area for any kind of treasures, because I know we enter like a treasury area soon. Ah, there's the treasure. Yeah. Hundred and something neo points. They didn't keep those close enough together. Are there bubble moat? Ah, so many water moats. Makes me happy. I know there's supposed to be. There it is. Lever. Yeah. Zoom. Absolutely necessary. That opens up that gateway down there. Nope, I had it up to here with Slorg shenanigans. Okay, just triangle button that to heal. Ooh, I spun attack to get that down. Too easy, just two clogs to go. Yep, got that water mode as well. Usually I find a lot more dark motes here. This is gonna be one of those runs where there's less dark motes. I guess that's okay. Only one enemies need real need of the dark motes. Knew it! Ah, there was that ranged attack. It spot out a slime ball at me. Turn around. Jeez. Guard. Ha. I just gotta remember swing, swing, and guard. Okay. Okay, just healing myself up a little bit more. Like I said before earlier in this episode, I have died in this dungeon before, and I flip and hate it. it. Made me really upset when that happened, because I didn't save in like the longest time, so I got sent right back to the beginning. Nope, 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 nope. Trying to get that spin attack on me, brah? I don't think so. Wait, where'd you go? There you are. No, stop moving! How am I supposed to kill you if you fling me everywhere? Okay. I gotta heal my magic. Okay, go... Oop, that was the, that was the right area I wanted. I'll use one of these. Starberries. Ooh, look at that. That was a nice jump boost. Oh gosh, I hate- I remember this room. Dude, I'm trying to- Get out of here. Okay, that slorg there needs to die. Oh my gosh, I'm swarmed! Run, I gotta run! No, 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 no! There we go. <laughs> I almost died! Get out of here! 
This will be easier now with that slur gun. But now there's this stupid tentacle that keeps comboing me. Along with his brother. Get out of here. Okay, one last tentacle to go. Yeah! Woo! The rush! Oh my gosh. Alright, only one clock left to go. Oh man, I can't breathe. That was exhilarating. Can I actually get this? No. Okay, that that's a little glitch thing here. Can't get this jumpy no matter how hard you try. It's just stuck in there. Okay, no more of that. Okay, now which way did I just come from? Uh, I can't remember which way I just went. Okay, can't go down this way. Just came from up there. Oh, look! Watermoat chest! What's in the chest? Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't even get this the last run I had. Un- Oh gosh, I can't pronounce this. Unguent of curing. Bottle reads, cures everything. That's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> That's pretty self-explanatory. Heals everything. Nice, so I guess that means it cures like any kind of bad spell things that happen to us. We haven't had to experience that yet. Spells cast on us and such. We'll get to that later. There's actually gonna be a squire lesson all about that. Anyway, chest here. Uh, another potion of revival. Those things are really worthless. Even when they become useful, they are never used, ever. Okay, can get that one. Get myself. Break all the small clogs. I think of it as it, like, fixing any, like, future clog problems that we may have. Anyway. That was the last one! The clogs are all have all been cleared! Now maybe I can get out of this sewer. Yeah. Oh jeez! Jump scare snort! Get out of here. Get out of here. Nobody got time for that. Ooh. Haven't seen this kind of moat before. Boy, he looks scary surrounded by all that darkness. I'll make sure his powers are put to good use. Yes, we got the highest tier of dark moat. The shadow moat. Oh, gosh. Also, I just realized that one shadow moat that I got from playing hide and seek with that little neighbor girl around my farm, it only has one swing in it. That is just sad. If I had to use my dark moat any time before this, it would be useless. Anyway, going up the ladder. Ugh. Oh. Fourteen years using letters. I don't think I can hear anything anymore. Got my headphones. Nope. Headphones have gone deaf. That should be on a shirt. My headphones have gone deaf. I'm just gonna take them off my head. What's the point, right? Okay. In fact, I'm gonna unplug it. Throw them on the other side of the couch. There we go. Clog duty's done, sir. Hey, welcome back, Squire. Nice job with those clogs. Yeah, I'm glad how you can tell that I'm done with clog duty and didn't just lie to you or something. Man, sewers are gross. Anyway, we're gonna head back to the courtyard and talk to Torak. I'll go this way for a change. Mm, go this way? Jeez, that was really bumpy. Anyway, where, oh, where could Torak be? Oh, there he is. 
couple of knights around here. Listen up, these are moats and they're war war <laughs> these are moats and they're a warrior's best friend. Any well-practiced swordsman can attune these magical bits to their weapon. Mm. Depending on the kind of moat assigned, the sword's damage changes. Now, I need a volunteer. Hiya. I'll do it. Yeah. All right, Tor, come over here and get one. Yeah. Now assign that fire mode to your sword. Hold on, I'm gonna go get it. It's right over here. Yeah, free fire mode. Okay. Now just attach that to my sword. Take that off my clothes. All right. Good, now your weapon is imbued with magical power of fire. Now attack the target dummy. Yeah! Good hit, son. You feel how it drains your magical energy? You'll need to restore your magic after prolonged moat use. Also notice how each attack depletes your moat's own power. Once your moat runs out of power, it fades away, so always keep track of your moat's power. Now, Tor, try holding your attack and building up the moat's magical energies. Get near the practice dummy, hold your attack in for a few moments, then let the magic fly. Yeah, you notice that the number there, right on, like, the moat that's right on my sword. Anyway, holding back the sword, letting it go. Excellent. The one thing you must always keep in mind when assigning moats is how they are each elementally aligned. Each element has its opposite. Fire versus water, light versus dark, air versus earth. Knowing all the alignments of your opponents is crucial. If you use the opposite moat element against an enemy, you will do far more damage to your foe. You've got some talent, boy, but now I need you in the upper hall. Laszlo, the king's chamberlain, will be waiting for you. Yeah, you notice the- n okay, like I said, you notice the number right by the sword that was right there. Well, that is showing how much power a moat has. Usually one moat equals 100 in power. So I have two fire moats, a little over two fire moats. And I have one entire shadow moat altogether. But yeah. I'm gonna attach a water moat to my sword, because I know what this quest entails. Hold on. I didn't think Master Torak like Swire's volunteer for moat demonstrations, but that's uh, because I'm a special case, Grayson. I am the main character. Main characters get to do a lot of stuff that normal background characters don't get to do. Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, back inside the castle. If the CD would stop spinning like we're on Homestuck. Okay, <laughs> not gonna mention Homestuck. Not anymore. I've, okay, I've been reading a lot of Homestuck, so it's been on my head. In my head. On my head. Ugh, lately. By lately, I mean for an entire week, at least. Okay, we want to talk to this guy here. Yellow Galert. Thank goodness Master Torek finally sent somebody. The king's been trying to take a nap for hours. Ugh, Scarl. And do you hear that? That racket from outside? No, dude, cause my headphones are dead. Jeez, it's like I don't mention that every episode. Hmm. It's the Krokovex come to roost in the castle courtyard again. Mm -hmm. The king doesn't get his nap and soon he'll be in a mood. And when he's in a mood, heads have a tendency to roll. I need you to get rid of any Krokovex nest you find in the courtyard. Hmm. Find the crocobet, roost, and smash them to pieces. Got it? So it's like clog duty, only not in a sewer. And please hurry, if the king doesn't get his nap soon, he'll turn cranky. Very cranky. Hmm. 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 No, instead I'm gonna talk to this pretty Aisha princess. Oh, I mean, she's a lady. Okay. I must remind Fawn to clean this dress. Yeah. Okay. I think this is actually a pretty good time to end off here. Next episode, we'll be heading out to destroy some Crocobec nests so they don't bother the king. So anyway, this is Laurel Evies. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want for more Neopets the Darkest Fairy. A game that I'm particularly enjoying more and more playing. Also, be sure to check out places like Twitter and Facebook for more reliable ways to keep track of when episodes are released. 
Okay then, this is Laurels. This is so thank you so much for watching. English blah. Who needs English? And I'll see you all next time. The scratch deal. The scratch. <laughs> the CD spin in for the hero of time. Okay, n no more Homestuck references. 